Good morning, and welcome to worship from the Western United Methodist Church in Western Massachusetts. This is Sunday, May 31st, 2020. Today is Pentecost Sunday, thus the red coloring for today. I hope that you are wearing some red at home to celebrate this day. Following worship this morning, we will have a coffee fellowship at 1130. The Zoom address for that is available on our website. Also came out in our newsletter, The Beams, this week which is also where you'll find the information for our one o'clock discernment session. This is the sixth in a series of sessions when we're looking at what's going on in the United Methodist Church and how that impacts us and what it means to be a United Methodist in these days. This week we will be looking at some of the issues around what the expectations are should a church choose to disaffiliate from the annual conference. This Tuesday we have Bible study at seven o'clock and that information is also in our newsletter. And as I will remind you that we have um, the opportunity to send an offering either by mail or by PayPal on our website, there is a donation tab. There will be a wonderful opportunity during the worship service today to think about and play, praise and bless the offering. Today we have a very special worship service for you. I want you to keep note of the variety of people that are taking place in this service. It was prepared for us by the annual conference leadership, our bishop and the cabinet, and several church groups from around the annual conference. We are worshiping with many, many people around New England today through this particular Pentecost service. So just imagine the Holy Spirit spreading out and connecting us all. Please note the variety of people and the wonderful gifts that they bring. This week we mourn over the loss of 100,000 people and more from COVID-19. And we also mourn the loss and the death of George Floyd and the racism that persists in our country. Let us all pray that the Holy Spirit can break through and transform hearts and can nudge us to do what we can to make a difference in the world, one step at a time. God is calling us, calling us to be the beloved community. This Pentecost Sunday gives us a glimpse of what that can be and what that can mean. God be with you. 